Leon. All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praises and all glory to Yahweh, for Hashem Yahushai, for Hashem Akakodash. I want to see the apostles and others of great mercy who do well. Peace and blessings in the sense that I came with four corners of the earth, that purchased gospel in all sincerity and in truth. All right, the Hebrew, Israelites, back out here, we came back out to, pro to prophesy, you know, the prophecies and what, what, what was stirring up in these times. Eh? So the scripture says it's high time to wake up and sleep. Right? So now we 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 the, the uh, prophets bringing out the prophecies, the true prophets, because there are false prophets out here who claiming to be prophets, but they are not. But they are deceivers. Go ahead, brother. This is Ezekiel chapter 3 and verses 10. It says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, all my words that I shall speak unto thee, receive in thy heart and hear with thy ears, and go, get thee to them of the captivity, unto the children of thy people, and speak unto them, and tell them, Thus saith Yehovah Hashem Yahushai power, whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear. Yeah, that will be come to you, come to say, Thus saith the Lord, whether you want to hear, whether you don't want to hear, because at the end of the day, the Heavenly Father didn't, I'm sure you don't have popular belief. Because that's what you people believe. I don't want you to believe. And that was our deception. Right? The Lord didn't come and he will never come to save all mankind. So we really don't care if you comment to this or not. We don't care about numbers like IYC, they care about numbers. They all into the, the numbers. So this group, the Christmas we don't care about the numbers. The scripture just says whether they will hear or whether they will forget. Because we don't really care about the numbers. We're trying to force you to come in and to, to, to make the numbers longer. Look like Yeah, that's what we're to do. Yeah, that's what we're going 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 to do. This is just about the ones who the Lord cleansed from the beginning, who the Lord sanctified from the foundation of the earth. This is who we call it, the Holy Spirit. Not every, not all mankind. The book of Matthew chapter 3 and verses 7 to 8. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come. Bring forth therefore fruits, meat for repentance. And think not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that power is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. All right, so hey, bring forth fruits, meat for repentance, all right? Meat for repentance, who meet in the measure that the Lord requires to, to, to come into this thing. Not any and anybody is to come into this thing. But that was a certain standard they have to be at. Alright? And that standard the Lord looking for is the elect. Now, when we come into this thing... Gold standard. Huh? Say a gold standard. Gold standard. <laughs> when we come into this thing, do we know if we are part of the elect? No, I don't know this brother. I don't know none of us yet. No, but we work out our salvation with fear and trembling. Because why if you are trembling, what the Lord Yahweh, Bahashami Awashai is going to come on this earth to do is not going to be nice to the people on this earth. That's right. That's right. Yeah. The Lord is going to do something terrible to the people on this earth. And this is why we are standing in fear and trembling. Because we don't want to get caught up in that. Alright? You people think it is just, you know, everything going back to normal, but there is destruction coming on this earth. There is going to be a time on this earth when you ain't going to have food readily and easily accessible as you want. That's right. When you ain't going to have a, a place to rest your head readily and easily accessible as you are accustomed to. There is going to come a time like that on this earth in this country. And that is according to the scripture. That is what we come to warn the people about because why? We don't want all your blood on our hands. That's right. Now whether you want to hear it or turn your back, that is your business. We don't want all your blood on our hands because we have an important message. So if the Lord 
if we don't do this, the Lord will require your blood at our hands, and we don't want our blood on our hands. So we do this work. Sure. This is Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verses 40. Because the brother, the brother now speak about the Lord going to do something terrible on this earth. All right, which is going to be manifest. And when, when it do happen, all right, there, there ain't going to be a way of escape. All right, the only way of escape is for the elect, all right, and to the one third believers who believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. There is Deuteronomy 32 and verses 40. It says, For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies. All right, to all those who disobey the Heavenly Father, they are considered his enemies. All right, once you're in, once you're in, in part of the elect of your Haoba Shimia Usha, you are considered his enemy because you're going against everything the Lord said not to do. All right, yeah, and as you think, the Heavenly Father has enemies and he has friends. Yeah, which I say, yeah, my friends, as long as you do what so I command you. He are my friends, you know? so that so that's a, basically like an ultimatum. If you don't do what I command you, you're the enemy. It's opposite of God. And you Christians will go in the church and you're going to read that. And you'll just say, yeah, well, you go in the church so we see God friends. But what are they teaching them churches? Making your enemy of the heavenly father. They just teach idolatry. They just teach the eat abomination. They just teach adultery. They just teach everything contrary to the laws of the heavenly father. So then therefore you become an enemy. And what the Lord does to his enemies is destroy them. But it's James chapter 4 and verse 4. It says he adulterers and adulteresses know ye not that the friendship of this world is enmity with power. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy. Of your how about the yeah, enemy of the world? Most I have enemies. He has enemies. He has enemies of nations, of, of other nations. He has enemies in his own nation. Exactly. The wicked of all people that don't even want to hear the word. That's not enemy. He don't like them. Alright? He, he has a purpose to destroy them just as he has a purpose to destroy the so called white man. And we don't want to get caught up in that destruction because it's it very near. The destruction is near. Alright, the heavenly father has only begotten son, Yahweh Shai said, Behold, I come quickly. Alright? He said what? Behold, I come quickly. I come quickly. He said, A speedy work on the Lord, a short work on the Lord who won't get. Alright? A short work, it, it, it will not come, the Lord will not accomplish a short work on the other. They want to do a long take, drawn out take. The Lord coming back just now. Yes, what? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 129, and verse 4. It says, The Lord is righteous. He had cut asunder the cords of the wicked. Let them all be confounded and turn back that hate Zion. Yeah, and they, that is what going to happen. A confounding is coming. The Lord is going to confound them. The Heavenly Father said He's going to set them right before your eyes because He have loved them. All right? He cut all the cords of the wicked asunder. And that is beginning, all right, with this word that we speak. The scripture is talking about that, you know. We are going to destroy Him, all right, with the word of His mouth and with the brightness of His coming. Where is being done right now? Because the prophets out on the highways and byways, week in, week out. All right, to prophesy against Esau Elam. Because you is the devil that the Bible speaks of. You is the main character who hates Israel. Who wanna who wanna rape the Lord woman. So the Lord done already cut in asunder. The brother now says a swift judgment. Alright? As soon as you make this thing, well not you, as soon as the Heavenly Father give you the utterance to make it mandatory, it's gonna be a swift judgment coming upon the earth. If you see right now what the so called white man is doing, not even, not, well, he, he is ultimately is him, but he is using the powers that be in this country to push this end the cash. There's an app. But the name of the app is End Cash. End Cash. And it's all over the media everywhere. 
all over the news. And it's an app that you could put on your phone where you don't even need money anymore. Cash. And them days going on, them days coming. Because according to the so-called Prime Minister um, in 2020, I will quote him, he said the future that we're talking about is a modern future where we're moving out to e-identity. Where every person in the country will be identified by a unique identifier. Hmm. And that all our services were digital, and very soon the country will go paperless and cashless. And that is what I'm saying, we're going forward because I was having to go over and over and listen to it. And that is what I'm pushing right now, and that brings up the description. And that, is what, that is the main prophecy that we're waiting on to be fulfilled before Yahweh Shai, our Lord, comes. That's right. Alright? Right. Second half of the week. Uh, British, all right, they have um, a, a, a site that they've got in um, the, the, the JMS News Room tag, or I want to put it in there. Um, British, put in the pounds, basically, that's the art we got to say, all right, on that same level, that cashless, that cashless level. All right, and the, the, the site name is um, End, of, End of Times website. End of Times, check it out. A woman behind it, because it is. So when you see all these nations pushing toward this MOT, right? This MOT, which is very important, before coming out of our Lord Yahushua Hashia, the MOT, which is written in Revelation, the 13th chapter, and the 16th verse, 17th verse, 18th verse, that's the first time it was mentioned. And it was mentioned in the, in the beast structure which was them seven heads and ten horns, and it died and was revived, and the revival of it was the, is the United States of America, which is Rome reincarnated. In that very said prophecy was mentioned in Revelation 13, an MOT word. Revelation chapter 13 and starting at verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the, the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. That right here is a, is, a, is a system that they are designing and putting in place. Now, when, they, when they put a system in place, what they will eventually do is have every single human, what they plan to do, rather, is have every single human being on the face of this earth walking around with something inside of their bodies, which is a... a electronic tag, a digital all, because I don't want to say the word because they will strike us on YouTube because he saw just a little bitch, alright? He don't like nobody to talk about him because he's a feminine. That's right. And all we're doing is talking the truth. This is what they're going to come with. And when they push this, the Lord Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai is going to come and make them push the WW3, the World War 3, where he will return very swiftly. And this is coming. Alright, this 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 has to come before the WD World War 3 comes. This this MOT it has to. Alright? That is the sequence of the prophecies. And when this comes to pass, which is right, it, it, the prophecy basically don't fulfill because they already have this. They already make this. There are already people on earth with this in their bodies. Paying for stuff, opening doors, all right? Doing all sorts of things with this. But they are going to make this mandatory for every human on the face of the earth. That is the plan. To make it mandatory. But there are some of us who will escape that. That's right. Once you want to escape that, there's men who stay in this work and do this work to the end. All right, because the so-called white man is going to come with this. He is. He ain't going to shy away from it. He is. 
Because ultimately, this is not his plan, this is the Heavenly Father's plan. And you people will get to understand that everybody on this earth ultimately works for the Heavenly Father. You don't do your own thing. There's nobody on this earth that does his own thing. That's right. Everybody works for your Hawa Basham Yama Shai. That's right. Whether you know it or not. Everybody who walking, everybody who talking, doing exactly what your Hawa Basham Yama Shai wants them to do. And the so-called white man is not excluded. That's right. The so-called white man is not excluded. He is very much included in that question. He included in that as well. I talk about the highest of the so-called white man. The top, top, top of the so-called white man who rule in this world. They include it in that as well. They do what they have by Hashem and wants. That's right. This, Salak. This second Ezra chapter 4 and verses 37. It says, by measure had he measured the times, and by number had he numbered the times, and he doeth not move nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled. This, that measure that we were just showing you how the people built. That Revelation 13, 15, 16, 17, 18. That had to be fulfilled. And when that fulfilled, hey, we, 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 we praise the Lord more and more. Okay. We praise the Lord more and more, Yahweh Basham Yahushai, because it's a day closer to the kingdom which we desire to be in. Because we don't, we don't like it. Yeah. You people all you love Babylon the Great. We hate Babylon the Great. That's right. This is a province of Babylon the Great. Right. Trinidad and Tobago is a province of Babylon the Great, which is America. And we hate this place. We hate this place. We don't, we don't desire to be here. We don't have no passion for here. Our heart is in heaven. Right? That is why we're outside here. Because our heart is, is up in the heavens of the heavenly Father. There's only begotten Son. That's right. We just exist here. Alright? As the scripture says, use the world, but don't abuse the world. So we use the world to do certain little things, but in, in, in essence, our mind is not here. Our mind is up in heaven. Right. The scripture says, for our conversation is in heaven. That's right. And our desire is to see heaven come down on earth. Can. Just to back up what the brother read earlier on, what the brother was going through Revelation 13, 16, because he saw, he saw, understand the history, all right, and he knew how the custom of our Hebrew Israelite used to be when he's a servant and master. Spoiler alert! For the brothers, we gotta see the movie as yet. That's the thing. Emancipation, all right? We emancipated, all right? But uh, Will Smith playing the role of uh, Peter and Yonek, all right? Where this Edomite was saying. I am your God, all right? I am your God. And he was saying, you is not my God. But nevertheless, this, this is the, the formality that he want to go into, all right, with his, with his device. This is Exodus chapter 21 and verse 6. He says, then his master shall bring him unto the judges, and he shall also bring him to the door, or unto the doorpost, and his master shall bore his ear to it at all. And that, that, that is where he devises. He device is the all that he want to enter into his servants. All right? To the ones who follow within his masses and believing in his system, those going to receive, they're going to receive them. Because they love master. But it's the ones who stand in front of against master. Because we we stand upon him who smote us anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Psalms 36 and verse 1. The transgression of the wicked Said with my said within my heart that there is no fear of God before his eyes. For he flattered himself in his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be hateful. The words of his mouth are, iniqu are iniquity and deceit, and he had left off to be wise and to do good. He divided mischief upon his bed. He set it himself in a way that is not good. He abhorred not evil. He accept that grace wickedness. That is the people that rule in this world. You people cannot come to me and tell me that you find this world as being righteously run. 
something that's wrong with you. If you sit down and you watch how the world is being run, and you come to the conclusion that this world, nothing is wrong with it, then something is wrong with you. In this world, on a daily basis, this is what we constantly does be seeing. Constantly does be seeing the, 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 the rainbow people, flamboyant as ever in the Constantly hearing about murders, constantly hearing about murders, constantly seeing drug users, drug abuse, constantly seeing um, the women dressing scandalous and being paused in the streets of our women. This is something constant in our eyes. So if you see in this world running like this, and you still love in here, then something is wrong with you. Something wrong with you. That's right. This first John 5 and verse 19. And we know that we are of power, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. The whole world lieth in wickedness, not a piece of the world. Not, not one piece of the world in wickedness, and everywhere is righteous. Why is that? Because Job 9.24 says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Right. So, so what the wicked will do? Will the wicked spread righteousness? As it says, according to the old purple, wickedness proceeded from the wicked. That written in um, 24 and 12, 1 Samuel. You got to come on. Yeah. Um, in the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 24, and verse 12, I read, it says... The 13, right? The 13. It says, I said the purple of the ancients, wickedness proceeded from the wicked, but my hand shall not be upon thee. My hand shall be right, but where is the point? I see all purple. Wickedness will proceed from the righteous, it proceeds from the wicked. So you see this world that we live in. We expect going on board if Job 9.24 is in, in effect. As the scripture the brother just read, the whole world lies in it. This is something that we are to constantly see. Do you think that a righteous person or somebody who's striving for righteousness would agree with that? With that world being run like this? Well, in Psalms 37 and verse 35, I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passed, he passed away, and lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, but he could not be found. That is what we are going with these so called white people. Eventually, they will seek, they will, they, nobody will find them anymore. Because according to the scriptures, this is why people, this is where people, Christians and um, so called white people and people who love this world, just tend to get a little on edge <laughs> when they hear that the so called white man will eventually. According to the scriptures, going to slavery, and then eventually after that, would be destroyed after a thousand years of slavery, and that is biblical prophecy. When they hear that, they just tend to get on edge because why? That they love that man. We don't have fuck for the so-called white man and his sister. That's right. Yeah, that 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 is nothing compared to what Yahweh, Barshami, Hashem has in store for the ones who do this work and sincerely remain until the end. That's right. Well, this first Samuel chapter 2 and verses 9. He will keep the feet of his saints and the wicked and the wicked shall be silent in darkness for by strength shall no man prevail. Wicked. Wicked. And Bible describes who is wicked. They are, they are wicked as well. Yeah, the Malachi one. The Malachi chapter 1 and verses 4. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord had indignation forever. And the, if I could just say, it just said, and the people. So when you speak about the wicked, like the Christian children say, nah, the wicked is not people, the wicked is Satan. Well, the scripture just contradicted you or, or trumped that um, ideology. Yes, right. And right where it says the wicked is a people. 
All right, because they, they, they tend to neglect the fact that this book is about nations, races, going back to a old hatred, a storyline. This, this book has a storyline. So to leave off from the storyline of the seed of the righteous versus the seed of the wicked, to now go into this fantasy reality or fantasy, this fantasy story, all right, of, a, of us just battling the spiritual and the Satan, you know, is a heresy. All right, is madness. The, the, the enmity between the two main nations still stands and remains today. And there's the battle that we, we continue into fighting. All right, like the Lord has awoken us or given us that remembrance of who our true enemies are. It equipped us with this knowledge that we are now able to fight them, march around the walls. Salah. These are Proverbs chapter 24. Verses 20 says, For there shall be no reward to the evil man, the candle of the wicked shall be put out. The candle of the wicked shall be put out the light. That, that candle of the wicked shall be put out as the light. His illuminati, his secret societies, his, his knowledge that he has. That because so God white man is on a fool. What is the scripture say? No one wiser than Daniel, there is no secret that they can hide from thee. So God white man is on God. Go into different um, uh, nations, learn their ways, learn what they like, learn what they don't like, learn how, they, learn how we can take them down, learn how we can conquer them. He study, he, he do research, he dig up things, he find things. Alright? So this is how we know how to destroy a people. To, because in one ruthless world, if they have some knowledge. So, and really and truly, who gave him that knowledge? The Heavenly Father gave him that knowledge. The Heavenly Father rose him up and, and, and gave him that knowledge to rule this world. That's right. Obadiah 1 and verses 8. It says, Shall I not in that day, shall I not in that day, say the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom? It says, Shall I not in that day, say the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the mount of Esau and thy mighty men O Timon shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. So for a white man ain't no idiot. He is he what he believes and this is what going on with his wisdom. He used his wisdom to do evil on yep. the face of the yep. 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 But what going on with this wisdom is that the Heavenly Father is tripping him up his wisdom. He's losing it. Because how did he get it? He, he went to the, the Satan. He went to Satan. Go to witches. Go to warlocks. Pray to the devil. Do all kinds of sorts of wickedness. Sacrifice. Sacrifices. Human sacrifices. Do all sorts of wickedness to gain his wisdom. And the Heavenly Father controls Satan. So now when you go, that's what he's saying, Isaiah the 47th chapter. The acid asks this, what do you want the prognosticator? This one, that one, and ask them to see if they can help you. <laughs> they can't help you. Because that is what the Lord, the Lord did. What the Lord did, the Lord cut that. He cut it off. Can. He cut it off. Ooh. There's no more help for it. That's right. So now it's like you had to figure it out on your own. What do you want to do? So you're coming back with old theories that, you, that used to work for you in the past, but they are no longer working. The Lord's tripping you out of power. Alright? Okay. This is Sirach chapter 19 and verse 22. It says, The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, neither at any time the counsel of sinners do it. Yeah, that, because it's not, that is not the true wisdom. What is the true wisdom? True wisdom is fear of the Lord. Fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, that is wisdom. All right, that is wisdom. So you saw about white people, you could be trumped. Your knowledge could be trumped. All the things that you tell yourself you know could be trumped, and that's what's going on right now. You're being trumped and you're being found out. Every little thing you do now, somebody jumping out from the woodwork and saying, "Hey, this is what," and exposing you. Every little thing you do. Look at this. This what's what, what's what going on here? This that that was off. This was off. That was off. That was again exposed. 
Because your wisdom is failing. Yahweh Hashem Yerusha is bringing in his kingdom. So he's chipping you and all that power that you have. Where everybody used to look to you as with, with the man with the, all the answers. Nobody you looking to you with, for, for the answers anymore. Because you lose it. Right? In Psalms 21 and verse 8, thy hand shall find out all thine enemies. Thy right hand shall find out those that eat. Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of thine anger. The Lord Yahweh Bashamel Shai shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. Hmm. Yeah, that fire won't devour them. Ain't getting away. And who created that fire? You self created that fire. The only fire will come in different is them heavenly beacons. Your own net we are set, you go and get caught in it. Sure. This is um, Job in the first chapter. They know that their eyes are going to see a fall. Right? The elite at Esau Edom are going to see America burn. Yeah. Because they're going to have to go into captivity. If they talk about the kings and the queens, shall be nursing mothers. You know? The most High going to keep you all and reserve you all and say, This is your empire. But you are the land of America. This is your empire. And there, there it goes up in flames. What can you do? Hmm. It says, um, For they intended evil against thee, they imagine a mis mischievous device which they are not able to perform. Hmm. And that is that, that rice grain, that elect, that's not going in none of the elect hand. Most, most I see will preserve the men and that. That, that is what That's what he has intention to, um, to concrete his um, agenda. Because what he really wants is, is a totalitarian rule where his houses will continue forever and to all generations. And to accomplish that, he needs to eliminate your free will. He needs to eliminate the ability to do what we're doing. See how we could easily come out here, all right, with these words and prophesy against him? In that day, if you have that device within you, you're going to be totally programmed. He ain't, going, he ain't going to be able to speak against him. No rebellion. He eliminate them like it had typical slave revolts back then where he had us to run you down in the field or send some niggas behind you to catch you and cut out your foot. No, he didn't have to do that anymore once that device is in here. Just a press of a button. Now he's sitting as God. That is what he wants to accomplish. He has a so-called white man has a God complex. All right? But he's not going to be able, as the scripture says, the brother just read it, but also in Job 5 and verse 12, he disappoint the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. They ain't gonna have they ain't gonna sit on that throne as, as the scripture says, prophecy said it, sit on the ground, there's no throne. So as soon as they think they're gonna ah get comfortable in that spot as God, the Lord is gonna come. The true God is gonna come and He's gonna take over. Then come at the end when He shall put down all rule. Your time up, all right? You had a certain time, that is it. You're running on time, Esau, and your time, it's almost up. Time again. Job said it, go ahead. It's Job chapter 20, and I'll start at verse, uh, verse 22. It's not 21. Mm -hmm. It says, there shall none of his meat be left, therefore shall no man look for his goods. No, none of his meat be left. That matches perfectly with the um, Jeremiah 49. I believe it's in another book as well, where it says, um, if grape gatherers come unto thee, will they not leave a few grapes? It have it in Obadiah as well, right? But the most I say, I've made Esau bear. You understand? He's gonna clean you up. He ain't gonna leave back anything. Jeremiah 49 and verse nine, it says, if grape gatherers come to thee, would they not leave some gleaning grapes? If teased by night, they will destroy it till they have enough. But the Most High is saying, but I have made Esau bear. All right, the Most High going to clean you up. Leave them neither root nor branch. All right, and it begins with the exposing, the exposure, right, of your, of your devices. This is the beginning of the disappointment, right? Where you're being exposed, you're being seen. Because one thing he didn't want to be... To, to, to happen to him is to be seen and the reason he kept jumping from identity to identity and the reason 
he, he, he did not claim to himself his true biblical identity. He called himself um, Greek, Roman, right? He called himself American, European, right? All these different names he went by except, all right, the title that was given to him at birth, which comes with a prophetic lot. And the prophetic lot of the Edomite is to have dominion on the earth, as Jacob, um, Isaac told him, it will come to pass when thou hast the dominion. But your brother, your brother, he you mentioned your brother. And this is where you, you want to be your brother. All right, you want to say to hell with what daddy said. I could be, I could be Jacob. I could be who he is. I could take his place. There's a whole, there's a whole motive and mindset of Esau Edom today. Hence the reason today they have snuck into our land, right? Being that we are the true Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and that's not something hidden anymore. Because even your, your, your popular or your prominent features, um, your, your prominent figures out there, like your, your Kanye West, your Kyrie Irvings, your um, Ka um, what's his name, Nick Cannon, right? Kodak Blacks, right? People that you look up to in society, Kendrick Lamar, right? They even coming out and say, hey, we the Israelites. Don't call me black no more, right? The knowledge is out. And that is a part of the Mosai, as I said, as the scripture just mentioned, making Esau bear. Because if we are the Israelites, then who are these bastards? What are they doing in the land? Well, these are the biblical Edomites that envies you, that sold their bird right onto you thousands of years ago. All right, and then through his sword has, and, and his deception has now stuck his way back into the boat, right, somehow. But it's only for a limited time. You're running out of time. Go ahead. Verse 22, it says, In the, full, in the fullness of his sufficiency, mm -hmm. he shall be in straits. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he's going to be in straits. So when he thinks to himself that, hey, just one more step, you know, one more thing I had to do, and that is it. You know, I'm God now. Which, that one more thing he wants to do is the Revelation 13, 16. Right? Major prophecy. So you see, you camps, right? You groups, you different religious beliefs that are not highlighting what this major move the devil is about to make is. They're putting the ship in total danger. All right? You're not the true watchmen. The true watchmen will be able to full, full well detail what the wolf is about to do to properly guide the sheep into safety. Have I put them in perspective of what to stay away from? What to look out for as a watchman, right? A watchman for, your watchman of any city is the eyes of the city. He sees before, right? These other groups are saying, we don't know yet. We just had to wait and see. You all are not the true watchmen. The true watchmen, all right, will see, before see the evil. Go ahead. Continuing, it says, Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Every hand of the wicked, and that wicked isn't referring to um, Esau, Edom. You go into the wood, you go into wood. We get into words here Ima. at Great Millstone. All right? Ima, laborers. Ima, right? It goes into the Hebrew, Ima, which is a laborer. All right? Who is the laborer? Who is, who is the ones, as it says in Lament, Lamentation, we labor and have no rest? Right? Who's the ones that have been working their ass off in the Americas, building up this devil's will? You know, for no little to no pay. All right? Getting spat upon. Low salaries. Us. We are the plowmen, they are the reapers. And one day, the plowmen are going to overtake the reapers. Every hand of the wicked is going to be upon him. We're going to have that time of recompense. And that is the gospel for you. That is good news. That is, that is where it's righteous. Knowing that the Heavenly Father has a plan where we, despite all his agenda, despite all his cunning craftiness, we are going to come out with the upper hand. Sure. We are going to have our feet upon the necks of the enemies. Go ahead. Verse 23 says, When he's about to fill his belly, mm -hmm. Yahweh shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him mm. and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. And this is going into our next major prophecy. The fury of the Lord. How is the fury of the Lord expressed? Nahum 1 and verses 5. It talks about the fury of the Lord. This is one, one prophecy to the next. Everything is by measure. We just read it. Everything is a step by step. You think the so-called white man is the one who moves in a gradualistic way? No. 
The most high is the mastermind behind gradualistic moves. He takes things in steps. One thing leads to another. Go ahead. There's Nehum chapter 1 and verse 5. It says the mountains quake at him and the hills melt and the earth is burned at his presence. The earth is going to be burnt at his presence. At the coming of our Lord, is going to be a great burning. Go ahead. Okay. It says, Yea, the world and all that dwell therein, who can stand 